<laughs> nice. Iron Cup, kill yourself. What is up, Max Renault Borderlands 3 video, and today we are talking about the new legendary rocket launcher, the Rhina, which was just added in today's hotfix. Today we're going to be talking about how you guys get this weapon, what it does, its special effects, and what you should be using with it. This weapon is extremely strong, and uh, if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and with that, guys, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so to get the Rhina, you need to acquire it from loot enemies. Now, it can be a loot rack, a uh, chubby skag, loot tanks, uh, whatever. I'm going to be showing you guys what I found to be the best place to farm for the Rhino. Before we go and actually try to get one, uh, the Rhino is radiation locked. And just so you guys know, it currently cannot come with anointments. Now, I have reached out to Gearbox. They are aware that it cannot come with anointments. And they said that they should be putting in a fix hopefully soon to add anointments to this thing which is crazy because this weapon without anointments is honestly one of the best rocket launchers in the game i don't think it is quite as good as the plague bear but it is pretty freaking close and with anointments this thing is going to be even crazier it's it's honestly i, I could see it being like the og yellow kick it's so so strong now in order to farm this thing you can go anywhere anywhere that has loot enemies However, you're guaranteed if you come to the Trial of Instinct, uh, the Proving Grounds Trial of Instinct, on both sides of this map, there's going to be Thieving Jabbers, and Thieving Jabbers are considered loot enemies. There's a ton of them, and I was able to get um, pretty quickly my Rhino. Right now, your roll doesn't really matter, once again, because it's it, it can't come anointed, and this thing is radiation locked. Um, let's see if we can get one, and then uh, we'll go show you guys what you should be using with this weapon. So those, these enemies, those like thieving jabbers are the ones you're going to want to keep a lookout for. Uh, they're pretty easy to kill. If you uh, come in here with like any decent build, you should be able to just clear up this place like super quickly. Uh, we are using our Rhino here, which is <laughs> just killing everything. Uh oh, that's not good. Let's see if we got one. First try. Hmm. Didn't get one. So if you don't get one in the first room, I honestly recommend just saving and quitting and going again because uh, the highest quantity of thieving jabbers is at this first room. Uh, also, if you guys did not know, the Rhino is a reference to Ratchet and Clank, which is one of my favorite games of all time. There was a Rhino launcher in Ratchet and Clank, um, and this gun is a reference to it, which already makes it one of my favorite guns in the game of all time. Uh, when this thing gets anointed, it's just going to be stupid strong. Now, in terms of like what to use with this weapon, its biggest downside by far, by far and away, is its ammo consumption. Uh, this thing destroys your ammo, and uh, unless you're using it smartly, you're going to be done with all of its ammo before you even kill anything, uh, which is pretty crazy. Let's see, do we get Rhino? Nope, still not. Um... So the best way that I've found for using this thing is either on Moe's, because Moe's is crazy when it comes to, like, ammo consumption. Uh, you can use cloning mining trackers to keep up. We got a Jericho. What a troll. <laughs> what a troll. Um, but using this thing with Moe's is going to be really, really good, uh, just because Moe's is great with ammo consumption, using Green Tree, using Forge, uh, using some for the road. And then Zane, if you put this thing on Zane, you can also get... Uh, really good ammo consumption usage out of it because if you give it to your clone your clone doesn't care about ammo usage at all um the mose build that i'm rocking for this right now that i found really good for it i'm using an o.m a blood letter um so that i can keep giving it amp damage a pearl of knowledge honestly i could probably get something better than the pearl i just really like don't have any other artifacts and then a cmt and uh, this is the build I'm currently rocking. I'm really not spec far into the green tree just because I'm throwing a bunch of grenades from CMT to get means of destruction and to proc redistribution. If you really wanted to just spam this thing, you should go into Forge, you should go into Iron Bank, you could use a Blast Master, uh, would be really good, or a green monster for even more mag size, so you could just spam this thing out. But uh, 
it's uh it's really strong guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and with that guys i'll catch you in the next one take care face it with like a cut purse as well but mose with like a green tree build uh seems to work really really well with this and also bro what was that what was what what was that are you kidding me